Hey, what's up, guys? It's 2022, and uh, we're going to actually try to start, like, a new series or, like, a new type of video. I don't want to keep the intro long, but anything you want to say real quick, bro? No? I'm looking forward to it. So, this is going to be our first story out of many, hopefully, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, it's a missing person's case. Um... Like, uh, what are we going to do? Like, scary stories or just... Scary like... stories, mystery, uh, mysterious. So, uh, th these are true stories. We're, we're, we're going to try to keep it uh, true because that's what we like. And I know a lot of people like uh, true stories as well. No creepy pastas. Okay. So, Gerald De Gerald DeBerry, uh, missing 10-10-2011 at 6.45 p.m. Northeast of Fairbanks. Arkansas, age disappearance, 53 years old. Okay, so it's a very rare event when a search team finds his missing party and then has to start searching for a new one on the, or their own personnel. This is exactly what happened on October 10th, 2011, along with the Steeze Highway at mile 70 northeast of Fairbanks. Gerald DeBerry was a volunteer that responded to a call to search for Melinda Mindy Stratz of Utah. DeBerry was a veteran of other searches and knew the area very, very well. He responded with his green Yamaha Kodiak four-wheeler and joined the efforts to find the woman. This event started at approximately 2 a.m. when Mindy got separated from the other four-wheelers in her group. Mindy's brother, Michael Stratz, contacted authorities and reported her as missing. Michael went to the Long Creek Lodge and told law enforcement that his sister was lost on a trail coming back from the wilderness. He reported that her four-wheeler trailer and Jack Russell's terrier had vanished. Alaska State Troopers responded and started to gather troops for a comprehensive search. In the morning hours of October 10th, a number of searches had arrived to assist. So, what do you, do you want to talk about it? I mean, yeah, that is that is strange that uh, whenever uh, uh, that that would be a situation that sucks because if you if you if you if you're the part of the rescue team, you find your the person that is missing, but then one of you, one of your own goes missing. Yeah. That is that is a tough situation to be on. And you know what I don't get, bro? Why were they four wheeling it? 2 a.m.? Yeah. It says, <laughs> yeah, the event started at 2 a.m. when she got separated from the other four wheelers in her group. Why were they even four wheeling at 2 a.m., bro? Yeah. That's, that's just true. a recipe for the, for something bad to happen. Yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, I've never rolled any four wheelers, but do they got a honk? Like, wouldn't, if she would get lost, wouldn't. Just or or hunting. get in trouble, yeah. Wouldn't I mean? I don't like I said. I don't the know. Heck out of that. Yeah, thing. I don't know. I haven't rode a four wheeler before, uh, but if you have comment down the, uh, below, if they do have uh, uh, horns or honks, whatever you guys call them in your area. Okay. Late in the afternoon, Gerald had a, made a comment to others that he was starting to get cold. Other searchers built a fire, and someone gave Gerald another overcoat. After Gerald got warm, he again went out looking for Mindy. As Gerald was out searching, another volunteer found Mindy alive and well near Frozen Foot Creek. There are a few details available about Mindy's case other than what's been noted. Searchers started to gather and head home for when someone noticed that Gerald hadn't come back to his vehicle. Several of the original search team went out to look for him it was reported that Gerald was last seen four miles from the trailhead they had started searching. Searches were told that Gerald had medical problems, but the medical condition was not released to the public. Early in the morning of October 11th, two different helicopters with forward-looking infrared radars started scanning the woods looking for heat signature. The Alaska State Troopers sent their helicopter and Piper Super Cub while in while the Alaska Air National Guard sent rescue teams to cover the ground. Um, I mean, Bigfoot got him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't been to Alaska, so I mean, I really don't know. 
like anything how anything over there is but i mean four miles away from the original that is a lot yeah, yeah that, that's a lot that, that's exactly what i was gonna say four miles yeah. i mean i know whenever they do searches they they get together before they start the actual search and they be like okay so we're gonna cover this much of a uh, radius you know yeah, uh, like a, a yeah, radius, radius of yeah. whatever you know how much it is but four miles does seem like a little stretch so and another thing i mean uh whenever you go to search uh, you know you, you start a search party don't people go together while was he alone or were just people going alone by themselves you know what i'm saying yep very true like you should at least have two or three people with you okay let's continue formal and informal searches for gerald continue for a week with no evidence of him being found the owner of the lodge where searchers were staging was Paul Potvin, an old friend of DeBerry's. The Alaska Dispatch on October 14 printed a statement from Paul about the search for his friend. Quote, it's a mystery, said Potvin. The four-wheeler is gone. Something had to have happened to him. He didn't get lost. Everybody agrees with that. He's been out there way too many times to get lost. That's the most baffling part. Unquote. If Gerald didn't get lost, then where was his four-wheeler? If the four-wheeler was in the in the area at the time, the flare was in the sky, it should have indicated a heat signature. It didn't. Or it was hmm. or it wasn't there. Hmm. Almost one year after Joe vanished on Labor Day 2012, a miner was walking near the Faith Creek mine at mile 69 on Steve's Highway and found Gerald's four-wheeler. It was a slight incline. It was on a slight incline, and the engine had been turned off. There was another massive search for Gerald in the region surrounding his vehicle, and nothing was found. See, the thing I don't get is uh, why I, I don't get. Okay, the technology, infrared technology. It, I hear it a lot. Like, oh yeah, they searched the woods for with the infrared, and they 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 don't find nothing. But yeah, like years later. Oh, they, they found their score, you know, whatever, like right in the area where the yeah, dang where the, helicopter was searching. Yeah. Like they need, they need to up the infrared stuff. They need to get trained on it well. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, that is strange. Uh, um, after a year, he I mean, he disappeared without a trace, but then after a year, his four wheelers was found. Yeah. And he's experienced. I mean... Earlier in the story, it had said that uh, he was feeling sick, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, true. I mean, he, he probably, some, I mean, his medical history wasn't released, but probably something happened, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some medical stuff, you know, something yep. medical. Yeah. But, I mean, it is kind of crazy that, like, his, his, I guess his body hasn't been found, you know? Exactly. I mean, I mean, anything else you want to... Was that all the story? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Really? Um, yes, guys, this was our first story. No, no, hold on, hold on. No, yeah, it is. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, it is, it is. Yep, because that's, some, that's something else. Yeah. That's another story. Okay. Yeah, guys, uh, that, I mean, we are going to... Uh, we're sorry if it's, it's our first yeah, story. Yeah, and we're still going to post it. But, yeah, we're, we, at least we're going to try something, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> got to try something yep. r rather than nothing. But, yeah, uh, you know, excuse us if, you know, we're stuttering or, uh, you know. Practice story, makes better. Yeah, the story is <laughs> not as good, not as interesting. Because it was short, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Short, yep. It was short, but, but. But that's what I'm saying. Me, like. Every video from now on, me and my brother are going to try to do one each. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Y'all yeah. probably won't notice the difference in the voice, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all probably, probably going to think it's the same person. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Leave your uh, suggestions, comments well, down below. What do you think about the story? Or what do you think about well, the story? Because... Yeah, what happened to Gerald? Because me and my brother are going to be looking at the comments. If you guys do any comments. So, all right. Thank you for swinging by and later.